quickly want to say congratulations to Dave and Central C. Um, somehow, I'm actually surprised because I thought um, Trojan Horse was a better single, but according according to the official charts, Dave and Central C have got a number one record with the first single off of that EP um, called Split the Shizun um, for Sprinter. I actually prefer Trojan Horse, and maybe I'd actually even go as far as saying UK Rap might be a better single, but for whatever reason... They chose Sprinter as the first single. The video's out now. I think last time I checked, the video had like 16 million views and people loved it and everything, whatever it may be. And these two guys kind of linking up, the two guys at the top of their game, both young, both killing it. It's something kind of, you know, you don't really see too often. Um, usually record labels like to keep guys like this apart and have them compete against each other. But maybe because they're independent, it kind of helps to them to kind of work together a little easily. But... It's actually impressive that that single that I don't think is the greatest um, or is it the best on the EP is actually the one I got number one. That means the whole project is absolutely doing numbers. So this is courtesy of official charts. Record breaker, David Central C debut at number one in the UK charts with Sprinter. Duo land the biggest streaming week of any rap song in the UK chart history. The good thing about it, I think, about that song being number one is just how much the culture has shifted in the UK because the contents of that song is not you know, it's not PG, it's not, you know, radio friendly type of content. And the fact that that sort of stuff is now becoming number one um, on the regular basis, something, I think it's pretty cool to see the evolution of, um, you know, UK rap and I would say predominantly black music in the UK is good because there was a time where we were, we, we were weirdly puritanical if that makes sense when it comes to you know having music from the black culture or urban culture kind of showcased on the regular uk charts for some reason it wasn't even though those songs that i kind of grew up with or freestyles or maybe were ringing out in the streets it was never reflected in radio or in some of these official charts so it's good to see these guys kind of be able to service the quote-unquote hood and also service the mainstream audience which is pretty sick and obviously when you do that that's how you end up with fucking matching fucking G wagons. You only end up with matching G wagons, right? If you end up being able to serve the hood and serve the fucking overground. It's kind of the Virgil Abloh method. So um, uh, overground and underground at the same time. That's the best way to go about it. Anyway, the article courtesy of officialcharts.com says as follows David Central C pull up in the sprinter for a record breaking number one debut at the official chart. The powerhouse duo's first official collaboration nets Dave his third UK number one single following the 2018 Funky Friday. Wow. Shit. Well done, bloody hell. I forgot that was for number one. And with Fredo last year, Starlight, and Sergio C's first ever chart topping single, um, having previously peaked at number two with Doja. Um, as well as Clinch. No, Doja should have been number one. Well, I don't know what beat it at number one, but that record was fucking everywhere 2022. Um, it continues here. As well as clinching the biggest opening week of the year so far, Sprinter tops the official singles chart with 108,000. 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, sorry. Uh, my, my, my head is spinning. I mean, could a record breaking 13.4 million streams, the biggest week of streams for a rap single ever. According to official charts company data, surpassing Stormzy's Voosie Bop. What the fuck? That's maddening, bro. This is a surpassed. Voosie Bop was a, was a moment as well. The video, everything about it. So that's really good. They also earned the biggest first week of streams since Adele's Easy on the Money. And imagine Voosie Bop had major industry label push. If I'm not mistaken, both Dave and Central C are uh, in independent. Um, so to them be able to kind of get this amount of streams and get this level of popularity and whatever it may be from this song, being independent, doing it on their own without the fucking machine just shows the power of these guys organically. It's fucking crazy. They've also earned the biggest first week streams of Adele's Easy On Me. Two more tracks from Dave Central C surpassed um, with Trojan, Tr Trojan Horse being 14 and New Crap being 17. Cool, amazing and great. Personally for me, as just a word of caution, I hope they don't try and rinse this. I hope this is kind of like a one and done for a while and they both go back to doing their own things because I feel like they could use the kind of the heat and the attention from this to kind of segue into their own albums, EPs and shit. I hope they don't go and try and do an album together and go on. Like, it's just going to be too much. Like let people kind of save, let this be something people savor and kind of long for maybe a couple of years down the line, then kind of revisit it. But for now, drop this, maybe a couple more videos, do some appearances with us. Kind of, you know, enjoy the flipping heat and the fun of this, but don't 
basically do too much with it. I personally think like try and let leave people asking for more and kind of, you know, approach the album and whatnot going forward individually. But I would love to see that, but most likely because it's a success and it's done really well, why not double back and do a whole album? But I would rather they focus on their individual stuff. Cause I feel like, you know, you probably learned a lot from each other from this flipping experience, working together at that level. Um, and why not kind of use that bit of steam to kind of segue into the, you know, into the heat of your own solo career that's what i would do anyway but again who do i what do i know i'm just a random guy here in the depths of east london talking out my asshole but yeah enjoy the the ep loved it for the most part my favorite track was trojan horse but i do understand sprinter the video the vibes everything why it made a lot of sense